Hey, welcome to another Mixed Media Monday. I'm Eric Scott, and as always, I'm here just to show you some some different ideas to using mixed media. So um, today, I'm feeling a little bit kind of scattered <laughs> and all over the place, and so I thought I'd turn back to some of the the meditative, the mindful mark making um, that I've done in a previous episode. Um, this is just a way for me to kind of come back to center, kind of calm down. Uh, it's just been kind of a, a crazy day so far. So um, just sort of wanted to kind of have um, <laughs> just a little bit of calm. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to be working on a slightly larger piece of paper uh, and probably using um, some, uh, some fewer materials. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's get started. So like I said, I, I have a bigger piece of paper. This is a six by eight inch piece of that same mixed media paper that I've been using the Strathmore 400 series mixed media paper. I've got my Inktense uh, paint pan sets and I've got my Inktense pencils. I've got my Faber-Castell pit artist pens. I've got a couple of them. So um, anyway, I, if I need other stuff, I'll grab it. But that's kind of what I'm gonna be using uh, mostly today. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm kind of feeling a little bit a little bit scattered. Like I haven't just feel like I've been running around all over the place today. But um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I just want to uh, just start making some marks, uh, getting some color down and um, maybe maybe start thinking about something that I don't use a lot of. So I'm kind of looking at the paints and you know, it's like, what, what haven't I used a lot of? And all I'm doing is I'm just going to make slow, repetitive marks. And really, probably, probably ultimately, I would want to do this, you know, without trying to talk, without trying to, to share a lesson. But, um, because it's really about just kind of getting focused, letting the body sort of relax. That's the other thing. I kind of just feel like I have a lot of tension in my body, a lot of sort of energy that I feel is like, like pulling in different directions today. So just kind of that repetitive mark making. And what, I, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just focus on that mark making. I'm not, I'm not making anything. I'm not making a picture. I'm not trying to make some kind of message or tell some kind of story. Um, even though some of those things are going to probably just emerge on their own. Um, but this is just about trying to focus in on that art making. And you might even kind of hear me take pauses and just kind of trying to let let my breath out trying to, to just sort of relax into it trying to let the the tightness leave my shoulders and sometimes it's just good to like just take a deep breath <sighs> um maybe not sigh that loudly but uh just sort of take a breath and really put the attention on that repetitive mark making. And I'm, I'm not trying to go fast. I'm not trying to fill up the space. This isn't about speeding through it. Sometimes I feel that folks think or feel like art's a competition and that, hey, if you can do it faster than everyone else, especially some of the little kids that I teach. It's like you share an idea with them and then, you know, two minutes later, I'm done. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> take, take a little bit more time. Focus on the mark making. It's not, it's not about the, the end result. There's a quote, uh, an old saying, you know, the journey is the destination. And that's the title of a book that really got me into visual journaling, a book about 
photographer, uh, a photojournalist, um, Dan Eldon. And if you're not familiar with Dan Eldon, I suggest looking him, looking him up. Um, but, you know, his sort of his philosophy was the journey is the destination. And it wasn't just about the art making his, his was about like, you know, living life that way, that it wasn't a life wasn't about getting somewhere. It was about experiencing the travel to experiencing the life that, that is happening all around you. And I think sometimes with art, we get so caught up in, oh, it's got to be this and it's got to be that. And we sort of lose sight about the journey of, of the artwork, the, the process, the getting lost in the mark making. Here recently, I've been working on a drawing, a graphite drawing, something I don't use graphite that much. I use it a little bit in my in my artwork sometimes i use water soluble graphite but when i first got into drawing it was or got into art it was drawing specifically graphite because you know i didn't have a lot of we didn't have a lot of money growing up and so we always had pencil and paper and there was really something about shading and just using a single material like pencil and creating something that looked very realistic and very 3D. And there's there definitely a magic about it. And I would just get caught up in, you know, doing that for hours. And so I kind of went back and was creating a drawing just using graphite. And just, it was so nice to kind of go back to a material that I haven't used in a while. But then also it was really interesting to kind of just focus, just to use that material. I mean, it's just, it's a, it can be a very slow meditative experience when you're just using a couple of different pencils and you're shading and you know, you're taking a blank piece of paper and you know after a few hours it's like oh look there's something that has emerged from the page and so sometimes I feel like that with well I guess I feel like that with with any kind of art that I'm making that just that idea that something's emerging And so like, even with this, you know, I'm just kind of doing these short little strokes. I'm just trying to spread them around, but not really thinking about like any kind of composition or purpose other than, you know, let's, let, let me make some, some marks. And I do find that like, I don't have the patience that I once did. And I think that's just because of just the way things are nowadays. You know, it's like when I was in the height of the graphite drawing, thinking back to, to college and uh, high school, it's like, you know, we didn't have the internet. People, not everyone had computers in their homes and you know it was just like cell phones yeah they were a thing but not everybody had them and they were these you know very large blocky kind of things very expensive and so you you weren't connected to electronic device all the time i mean you know we had we had video games and and things like that, but you know, for me, it was the drawing, what an art. That was that's how I spent 
most of my time. But I find that nowadays it's really hard for me to focus for that, to focus like that. So I think that's good for that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with the hair dryer. So by flipping it over, I can heat up the back and that flattens it. Um, not totally flattens it, but kind of takes that big, big curl out of it. All right, so I grabbed my favorite Castell Pit Artist pen. This is a black and it's a extra super fine. So it's like the thinnest one that they, they make. Um, and so I'm just kind of in that that uh, mode of, of mindful mark making. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just kind of thinking about lines. Um, and what I'm gonna try to do is just lift my hand and my arm off the paper. I'm gonna go really slowly. And I'm not trying to make a straight line. I'm just trying to go from the top to the bottom. And I have, I, I don't have a very steady hand. Every once in a while, I'll see these um, calligraphy artists and lettering artists on social media. And I'm just like, how do they make such smooth, crisp, steady marks? But I think that's also part of the process process of the mindful mark making is that you know these are the marks that are being made. And it's not about trying to do something perfectly. It's about being in the moment and allowing the marks to flow to kind of see what's what's being unfurled in front of you. But I also think it's part of the energy. Um, I often feel like I have just, I think describe how I described it earlier, I just feel like there's this energy in my body that's trying to go in like several directions at one time. And just trying to not stop the energy, but maybe to focus it, to quiet it. And that's not, that's just not, that's not something that I'm just feeling today. It's sort of how I typically feel. I don't know if anybody else feels that way sometimes. Just like you have this, this energy. It's all kind of going in different directions in your body.
again, I'm not, I'm not trying to make a picture. I'm not trying to make an image, but an image is starting to emerge. You know, the, these marks leave visible evidence. Okay. <sighs> um, I think I'm going to use pencils here. Okay, sharpen it. Sorry for the noise. Um, I feel like I want just to do little dashed lines. This is a this is something that I commonly do. Again, I think it's that notion that notion of repetition. Something that I can do without a whole lot of thought and a whole lot of effort. I'm just letting these marks sort of wander and meander on the page. And this is something that's going to take a little while. It's not a quick thing. I think sometimes we just feel like, oh, I, I don't have the time. It's got to be fast. And it's one of the reasons why I, you know, I kind of focused on on this series of just doing sort of half an hour little things. So it's like, hey, you don't have a lot of time, but you can do so much in that, uh, that, that time that you have. And I think even with this, it's like, yes, this is a slower process and it's taking time but it's not, it's not something where I need to spend hours and hours. And even just the time that I've spent so far, I feel, I feel much less pulled in different directions. I feel just much, much more relaxed, even though I'm talking and trying to, you know, trying to keep a, a dialogue going with you all. But even this, you know, I can spend a little bit of time and focus my energy. And it still doesn't take up a whole lot of time. Let's go ahead and I'm just gonna use that same brush I think even with the way I put the water on. Just gonna go slowly. Just focusing on how the water is hitting those marks maybe spreading it a little bit.
So I kind of see this, this piece kind of doing double duty. So the first and most important duty is that it's, it's that mindful mark making. It's just allowing me that time just to kind of pull myself back together, focus myself, focus my energy, settle my mind that was racing in different directions. But then also I'm leaving, I'm leaving tangible marks behind. And so the second kind of duty, the second thing that's happening is that it is creating something. And this might not be a finished resolved piece in and of itself, especially just giving myself only about a half an hour to do it. But maybe it becomes the basis for something else. Or so maybe I'll add to it or maybe I'll cut it up and use it in something else. It, but it's that it's that evidence of that that process. It doesn't have to be something that is that is resolved in a nice little package by the time that we're done today. Because it was more about the process Okay, let me hit that with the hairdryer. Okay, I think I'm kind of feeling like I'm almost done for today, but there's maybe I just pulled up another uh, pit artist pen. I think I just want to do some circles, just some different sizes. Again, not really focusing on trying to make them perfect or all the same size. But trying to go slowly as I make them. Spreading them out throughout the, the paper.
Okay, so I'm gonna say that, well, I won't say that I'm finished because I don't feel like this is a finished or resolved piece, so I'm not gonna sign it, but uh, just gonna kind of stop there then, I guess. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know it's a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, I have done something like that, uh, similar to that before, but um, I think art sometimes has that kind of power that, that we can, if we're feeling overwhelmed or we're feel, feeling like we're being pulled in lots of different directions, then um, we can find ways to use art to, to sort of help either bring us to center, bring us back, help us focus, just calm us down a little bit. Um, but anyway, that was kind of where and how I was feeling today. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm glad that you were able to join me. And uh, um, yeah, if, if you really, this is your first time tuning in and you like what you're seeing, uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, and then also check me out on all the different social media platforms. And um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me once again. And as always, happy creating.